The next threesome headed for the International Space Station includes two men who never dreamed they would fly in space, and one for whom being a cosmonaut is a family tradition. Dr. Steve Swanson was born in Syracuse, New York, and moved with his family a number of times before ending up in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, as he entered his teens. It's a beautiful place. I love the mountains. I love the area. And uh, when I grew up there, it was definitely like a half agricultural ranching community and half resort. And it was a great combination. He stayed at home for college, got his bachelor's of science in engineering physics at the University of Colorado, but then went to Florida Atlantic University to get his master's of applied science in computer systems. At that point, he considered his options and the job of astronaut seemed to have what he was looking for. After a year working as an engineer in Phoenix, he got a job as an engineer at the Johnson Space Center's Aircraft Operations Division, working on the shuttle training aircraft while earning his doctorate in computer science from Texas A&M. He was chosen for the astronaut program in 1998 and made his first flight in 2007 on a mission to deliver a truss segment to the International Space Station. Swanson made two spacewalks on that mission and two more on a 2009 shuttle flight that delivered another truss segment to outfit the station to perform its mission. We're going off now, we're trying to get uh, science better. We're also trying to find maybe a, a place that we could go to, uh, to maybe you know, get resources off the moon. We could go explore the Mars. All these kind of ideas are things I think, uh, as human nature, we just have to do. Alexander Skvortsov was born in Shelkovo, near Moscow, because his father's job as a cosmonaut brought the family to Star City, a town with no maternity ward. But soon after his birth, Skvortsov's father left the cosmonaut corps, and the military took the family to Morshansk. And I still love the town, a very big, quiet river, a wonderful nature, wonderful forest, very good people. I like that town. And I have, um, there are a lot of people who graduated from high school with me. My classmates still live there. After high school, Skvortsov set out to fulfill his dream of being a cosmonaut, like his father. After he completed study at the Stavropol Air Force Pilot and Navigator School, he spent seven years in the National Air Defense Force before studying at the Military Red Banner Air Defense Academy. Skvortsov graduated the academy in 1997, the same year he was selected for the Cosmonaut Corps. He spent six months on the International Space Station in 2010, including serving as station commander for Expedition 24. After he returned to Earth, he finished his studies at the Russian Academy of Civil Service to become a lawyer, and he retired from the Air Force as a colonel in 2013. It is um, an enormous joy to look down to Earth, and we really want to um, see Earth always looking as beautiful as we see it from space, a blue planet with wonderful nature. Oleg Artemyev was born in Riga, the capital of Latvia, where his military officer father was stationed. But the family soon moved to Kazakhstan, to the town now known as Baikonur, when Artemyev was a small boy. Although he lived in the place where people were launched into space, he wanted to be a sailor. Cosmonauts? We always thought of cosmonauts as the people that we always have to go meet and greet. They would pull us out of um, the activities that we actually enjoyed and they would line us up along the road and make us wave little flags to greet them. After high school, Artemyev went off to train as a sailor. But when that didn't work out, he went to the Tallinn Polytechnic Institute and graduated into a job as an electrician, but soon left that to join the Soviet Army. After two years in the service, he went to Moscow and was admitted to the Bauman Technical University, where he earned a degree in low-temperature physics and technology. That got him a job at the Rocket Space Corporation Energia, where he worked building and testing space vehicles, including preparing the International Space Station's Zvezda module for launch. He was selected to start training as a cosmonaut in 2003. In 2009, he participated in the Mars 500 experiment, along with future cosmonaut Sergei Razansky, on his way to preparing for his first spaceflight assignment. I hope that um, my small contribution will help those who will eventually make a first step on the surface of Mars or touch an asteroid, bring something good back, maybe even 
see some yeah. extraterrestrial life. There are a lot of uh, good jobs on Earth, but this is the ultimate.